What's up everyone, this is FP Sticks, and before we get into this video, I'd like to make a very exciting announcement. We now have officially launched some FP Sticks merchandise. So, if you would like to pick up a FP Sticks t-shirt, uh, looks like one of these, or we also have some with the logo straight across, we have some sweatshirts, we have some phone cases, we got some fanny packs, man, we got all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, head on over to the link down in the description. It will always be in the description of all of my YouTube videos that'll uh, take you to my Teespring merchandise store and you'll be able to get some cool FP Sticks merch. Uh, let's get into the video. All right, let's get into this gameplay here. So this footage was submitted to me by one of my patrons, Kim Lee Horn. If you recognize that name, it's because I've uh, uh, I've reviewed his gameplay before back in um, Premier Cup when he was actually probably like one of the top rated uh, players in Go Battle League. The leaderboard was down at the time, but he was the one who first ran with Skull Bash Snorlax. Do you guys remember that video? Uh, it's definitely one of my more popular ones that got a lot of views. Well, he's back at it again, running a very interesting team here in great league scrafty Driplim, and lantern um and this team is super interesting to me um i think he's going to use Driplim as his safe swap so i kind of want to just get into these battles here commentate over them and see what is going on here um kimberly horn is a really great player always exciting to see his gameplay here gonna go for the power up punch on this meganium the scrafty's already been ramped up a little bit uh, so actually gets the shield from the power up punch and now Driftlim is going to be able to wall that. This icy wind is not going to be enough to take out this shift tree, but it will debuff the shift tree and so the foul play won't um, be enough to KO. It only takes four hexes to get to icy wind, which is amazing because um, that's the same number of fast moves that it takes for Shiftry to get to a foul play and because the Driftlim had an energy advantage, it's going to be able to take out the shift tree. This Frenzy Plant will KO the Drift Blim here. And then Lantern is going to take out a Meganium. Oh my gosh. This Lantern uh, will be able to survive one Frenzy Plant. And then Sparks down a Meganium. How many times have you ever seen that? That's the first time I've ever seen a Lantern take out a Meganium. Good game. Worst possible lead. Let's see how he's going to come back from this. Going to switch into Drift Blim. Okay, use Drift Blim as a safe swap. Out comes Obama Snow. This Shadow Ball is going to do a lot of damage on Obama Snow if it gets... Okay, they let it go through. He has to win back Switch Advantage here. So even if he has to go into a Shield Deficit, it's very smart to Shield up here. I, yeah, double Shield and then farm down, I think, is the play. Obama Snow might barely not be able to get to a move. This is great. Lantern is such a hard counter to Azumarill, especially if the Azumarill is not running play rough, that even down two shields, just by um, winning switch advantage here, it puts the um, it puts Kimli in a very good scenario here. Out comes Shadow Hypno, and it gets almost one-shotted by the Shadow Ball. Oh my gosh. Gonna bring out Lantern now, and even down a shield. Is this play rough? It's Hydro Pump, so Lantern is in a very good spot here. Spark is generating energy fairly quickly, and these Thunderbolts are going to do a lot of damage. Spark is also hitting for super effective damage, so you're able to kind of uh, chip away at the Azumarill, which is really good. And this is really great that the Azumarill is not running play rough. And the opponent leaves the match there. Good game. Scrafty into Azumarill. Real, like, worst possibility, the Scrafty could see. Mm. He always stays in there and gets like a little bit of an energy head start, which is pretty interesting. Is this the same match here? No, this is, but it's the same team comp, but this is a non-shiny Obama Snow this time. It looks like he went straight for the Icy Wind that time. Oh, okay. Maybe double Icy Wind is the play here. I could see that. Gonna double shield again to ensure that the Lantern is gonna be able to get on the Azumarill. Ah, see, the opponents are making some mistakes here by not committing any shields. They figure that they'll just take the two-shield advantage, but um, this Driftlim is still going to put in some work against the opponent's team. And now Scrafty's going to be able to be aligned to the Stunfisk. There goes a shield. Whoa, able to get to this Icy Wind. That's pretty huge. Gets the... Okay, does not shield that. Super smart. This rock slide should be enough to take out the Drift Limb. Scrafty's gonna come in and just start going to town. 
on this stun fisk here and then lantern is a very solid response to the azumarill and because Kimley already had a slight energy advantage because he did a couple counters before switching out he's able to get that power up punch out comes the azumarill is the azumarill running play rough that is the question it's another hydro pump so most of these azumarills that have been put in the lead scenario seem to be running um ice beam hydro pump which is amazing for the lantern as you can see lantern just needs to land one thunderbolt and then is able to spark down the azumarill which just puts um lantern with an energy advantage at the end gonna go for the thunderbolt here it is double resisted still does a decent chunk definitely could have made it to the hydro pump there but just trying to put on some shield pressure rock slide is going to be enough to take it out and the scrafty is going to be able to come out and uh, could just counter down but um, probably gonna get the last shield here and then earthquake would not ko scrafty at this range scrafty's got a good amount of bulk to it and that'll be a good game wow driftlim really regaining switch advantage that's pretty incredible scrafty into meganium Lantern needs to avoid this for sure, so I would imagine that um, Kim Lee's just going to stay in here. I like this. Going straight for the foul play, man. Most people expect you to just... Uh, they expect Scrafty to try to bait with power-up punch and ramp up the counters. I like just going for the move that's going to guarantee to do a lot of damage. Um, worst case scenario, it gets shielded, uh, it gets shielded, and then you're, you have a shield advantage, so it's totally fine. Scrafty is down a shield. Out comes some sort of psychic type. Is that Deoxys? It is Deoxys. Wow, that foul play does so much. Okay. Drift Blim is going to be a solid response. Rock Slide and Thunderbolt both will hit for um, super effective damage. So we'll see what move set. Okay. Oh, Bastiodon in the back. Interesting. Interesting. Going to go for an Icy Wind before switching into Lantern. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Stone Edge is uh, not going to hurt that much now that the Bastion has been debuffed. I still don't think Kimley's going to win this. Probably has to double bait. And the Bastion is not shielding. Okay. Definitely has to go straight Thunderbolt at this point. Man. If he would have landed a Hydro Pump, this would be a different story. Kind of has to shield this, yeah. There's still a very healthy defense Deoxys. Okay, able to switch into the Drift Limb. Get to this last second Icy Wind, but that Bastiodon cleared its debuff. Oh, gets the last shield. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gets to this Icy Wind. The opponent got way too greedy. Out comes Bastiodon. No way. No way. Oh my gosh. What a finish to that match. I did not think Kimberly uh, was going to win that. Really good game. Really good game. Scrafty into Toxic Croak. Not a good matchup at all for Scrafty. Going to... Okay. Sack the Scrafty, I guess, is the only play here because the Lantern in the back doesn't want to see Toxic Croak either. I doubt the Toxic Croak is going to shield this, but Driplim is going to be able to wall this thing and farm it down. Smart move. Sacking the Scrafty because Lantern doesn't want to see Toxic Croak either. You can no shield this the whole way and hex it down. These counters are triple resisted because of Drift Limbs, Ghost, and Flying Typing, and these Sludge Bombs are resisted. Okay, gonna preserve a little bit of health because of all this energy stored up. I'm down with that. Oh no, accidentally clicks the Shadow Ball here. Definitely a misclick on the Munchlax. Munchlax is a very solid response to Drift Blim. The lick damage is going to be hitting for super effective. However, um, all of Munchlax's <laughs> moves against Drift Blim are double resisted, um, assuming that it's running Body Slam and Bulldoze. Gunk Shot would obviously hit for a single resisted. Lantern's got a lot of work to do here. All right, doesn't shield up the Body Slam. Bulldoze would hit for super effective. It's got to be another body slam. Oh, going to shield it up. It is the bulldoze. Nice read. That Munchlax had a lot of energy. Kim Lee's over farming here. Very smart play. Body slams are going to start to chip away though. Oh, I bet it's an Azumarill in the back. Oh, it's a Skarmory. 
Oh my gosh, Lantern is such a hard wall to Skarmory. But if the Lantern lands a Brave Bird, oh, this is just a Sky Attack. This is just a Sky Attack. Then you're gonna try to spark it down. Three, four, able to perfectly spark it down and then get to the Hydro Pump. Oh my gosh, does Lantern survive this Body Slam? Mmm, barely doesn't survive it. Really nice play though. Munchlax wins CMP on Lantern, that's crazy. This is a decent lead for Scrafty here. Uh, Scrafty is resisting the hexes, but uh, Driftblim, again, is triple resisting the counters. Foul play will hit for super effective on Driftblim, and the opponent is playing this correctly, going straight for the Icy Wind. Shadow Ball would be resisted on Scrafty. Gonna get a shield there, makes sense. Especially since the opponent is just going to continuously Icy Wind debuff. Oh! Kimley's gonna switch into his own balloon here. Okay, it looks like wind CMP with this icy wind. Double shields the drift blim. Wow. Okay, gonna shield this up. Probably another icy wind. Yep. And going straight for the icy wind again. Oh, did they just make a sacrificial swap into a dugong? Is that what that was? Empoleon. Really nice catch by the opponent to catch that icy wind. Um, Icy Wind double resisted on Empoleon because of the water and steel typing. Gonna shield up the Hydro Cannon. Man, Lantern's gonna have so much play against the back line. We know Lantern's gonna do really well against Empoleon as well as the, um, as well as the Driftlim. Machamp, oh no, is this Shadow Machamp? Oh, that's not great. That's not great. Oh boy. Gonna try to get to an icy wind on the drip limb. Ah, oh, opponent makes a huge mistake in over farms. That mistake is gonna cost them the match. Out comes the drip limb, and the drip limb throws its energy. Lantern's gonna easily be able to get to a thunderbolt. Uh, I mean, not easily, but uh, it's gonna be able to get there. And Lantern can for sure tank a shadow ball. Does a nice chunk though. Good game there. Wow, Lantern had a lot of play against uh, that opponent's team for sure. Scrafty into Cresselia. This is actually totally fine. Uh, the Moonblast is probably going to one-shot Scrafty. It is double super effective. And it's very likely that the Cresselia is running Moonblast. However, uh, as we know, the Foul Plays will be hitting for super effective damage. Has to shield this Moonblast. Oh, and gets the attack debuff, even though Moonblast, the percentage has been changed to only a 10% chance, still gets debuffed. You hate to see it. Gets a shield from the Cresselia. Okay, out comes Galarian Stunfisk. This is really not the worst matchup for Driftblim. I like to just go straight for the Shadow Ball, just like Kim Lee's doing here. Smart play. Uh, the Stunfisk, they never shield the first one, so you might as well go for the, uh, the nuke there. Driplim can tank a rock slide just fine, but this second rock slide is really gonna hurt. Oh, gonna no shield it and then aggressively farm down with Scrafty. I like it, I like it. This is still a very healthy Scrafty. The Stunfisk is not able to get to another move. Rock slide would have been resisted. And now all this energy is going to be able to be thrown into Cresselia. Gets the last shield. Oh, nice. Is this a Moonblast? Nice catch there. Nice catch with the lantern. The Scrafty's still looking good. Gonna shield this up because the opponent is staying in. Which means whatever's in the back. It's another lantern. Oh, but this is a water gun lantern. Oh, Hydro Pump is resisted here, even though Thunderbolt it hits for neutral. So Thunderbolt's definitely the way to go, and it looks like Kimley recognizes that on the second uh, charge move here. As you can see, Thunderbolt's definitely the way to go. Oh, because the opponent was able to land the Thunderbolt. We still, okay, he still has a very healthy, healthy Scrafty. This Power Up Punch is not gonna be able to take it out. The opposing Lantern might get to a Thunderbolt. Yes, this should not KO the Scrafty. Oh, man. Oh, going for the Power Up Punch definitely could have made it to the Foul Play. Oh my gosh, able to counter down the Cresselia and then the water gun from the Lantern takes it out. Oh man, good game, good game, very close. Amazing lead here. The Leaf Blades will be hitting Scrafty for neutral damage though. Gonna go straight for the power up punch, that's definitely the play. You can see how much these counters are doing to Shift Tree. 
Um, again, it takes three snarls to get to a leaf blade. Shift tree's very spammy. No shield on the power up punch, and then Scrafty's still very healthy. Out comes Skarmory. Oh man, Kimberly's got a lantern in the back that's gonna hard wall this Skarmory. And oh my gosh, this uh, Scrafty's been ramped up and is doing so much damage to this Scrafty. You're gonna get a shield from a power up punch? That is amazing. Looks like we got an alarm clock going off. Sound the alarms. That Scrafty just did an unbelievable amount of damage to that Skarmory. And then Lantern just gets to come out and wall it. Okay. Able to catch a Mud Bomb on Driftlim. That's pretty amazing. What a nice swap. And the opponent leaves after that. Yeah, that was that was amazing. Really good play. Scrafty into Mawile. The counters will be hitting Mawile for neutral. The Fire Fangs are hitting for neutral. If this Mawile is somehow running uh, like Dazzling Gleam or, or Play Rough, whatever the Fairy Charge move is, that would for sure one-shot Scrafty. Double super effective. Even if this is a power up punch, it's uh, it's worth the shield. Kind of want to get rid of this Mawile. Uh, even though, I mean, Driftblim and, uh, and Lantern can still hang with it. Wants to solidify the lead. Oh, nice. Now this is going to be... Uh, Kimberly's going to be able to dictate what Pokemon gets aligned with this Meganium because he won the lead. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see how much damage that foul play did? Whoa. An Obstagoon in the back. Okay. Probably going to go for the Icy Wind and then swap into Lantern, I would imagine. Catches the Night Slash. That's so legit. Debuff Night Slash gonna go straight thunderbolt it looks like but thunderbolt's not gonna be enough to ko obstagoon obstagoon is fairly bulky kind of average bulk in great league um in ultra league it definitely is is bulky we know baits with thunderbolt and then mm, gonna try to get to the hydro here don't know if the land oh the opponent switches in oh my gosh sparks down a meganium again Second time we've seen Lantern spark down a Meganium. Oh my gosh, the Hydro Pump KOs. Good game. Whoa, that Scrafty went on a spree, man. Woo, we got a Scrafty mirror match. Okay. Yeah, you just go straight power up punch here, and whoever wins CMP essentially kind of wins the game here. Oh, Kimberly definitely missed a counter in there. Gonna shield this up. Acid Spray? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we have another alarm going off. Kimley, you gotta be somewhere, man, and you're doing these battles. What? Is this a mirror mat? Is this a mirror team? It's a water gun lantern, though. And so Kimley's lantern definitely has an advantage. Gonna switch into Drift Blim right now. Okay. Does Kimley anticipate that there's a Drift Blim in the back? Gets a shield with the Icy Wind. That's amazing. Because the opponent is staying in here, uh, Kimley kind of recognizes that maybe this Drift is going to have a lot of play. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, it's a Jirachi. Oh, man. Hopefully. Oh, no shields it. Wow. The opponent made a really nice catch. Okay, just going to straight Icy Wind now. Going to get a shield. Okay. Does get the shield. Mm, trying to go straight Icy Wind. Icy Wind is resisted because of Jirachi's uh, steel typing. Going to be able to land this Thunderbolt. It should be just enough to KO the Jirachi. Nice. Needs to get off this Thunderbolt. I think it's barely going to KO. Maybe? Oh no. Has to spark it down. Whoa, that was close. That was very close. Good game. Good game. Scrafty into Machamp. Oh, this is not great. Safe swap into Drift Blim. The Rock Slide's gonna hurt. Another Lantern, holy cow. Man, I know in my personal battles, I really don't run into that many Lanterns, but it's kind of amazing how many Lanterns we're seeing here. Um, it is a Spark Lantern. Gonna shield up the Thunderbolt, smart move. Man, all three Pokemon on Kim Lee's team are kind of equally pulling their weight. I dig this team a lot. Very unique. There's no Azumarill. There's no Registeel. Man, you guys in the comments section always saying 
that my teams suck because sometimes they include Azumarill or Registeel or Altaria. Man, I like running good Pokemon. I'm sorry. I apologize. Outcomes with Champ. This is going to be a cross chop and it's going to hit for a nice amount of damage. Lantern's pretty bulky though, as we know. I bet this Thunderbolt KOs Machamp. Shadow Machamp? We will not know because he gets shielded up. Hmm. Okay, gonna shield this up. I think the Machamp outpaces the Lantern though. Gonna bring in Scrafty. Skarmory in the back, okay. Scrafty's gonna be able to land a foul play. It's gonna do a nice chunk. Wow. Oh man, okay. The opponent's getting pretty greedy here. Gonna land the power up punch. Okay, has to throw, and then the lantern's gonna come out, spark it down, and then hydro pump the Machamp. That's the play. Uh it can just thunderbolt the Machamp. It's gonna have to probably. Yeah, oh one spark away from a hydro pump. Is this enough? Is the thunderbolt enough? It is for sure enough. Good game. Good game. Came back from that Machamp lead. Really nice play. Scrafty into Zapdos. Oh my gosh. Well, the Drill Pack is going to be hitting for super effective damage. So, But Zapdos is unbelievably frail. It gets the Drill Pack very quickly. And Drill Pack did receive a damage increase. Oh man. How much is this going to do? It's going to do so... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, that was that was brutal. Uh, gets the bait with Power Up Punch. Oh, let the foul play through. Double shields to Zapdos. That's unfortunate. Probably brings in Lantern, I would imagine. Whoa. Okay. If this is a Thunderbolt, it's going to absolutely destroy it. Yo, Kimley's got a lot of meetings to go to. Oh, no. This has got to be another Drill Pack. Yeah gonna hex it all the way down are you serious oh my gosh okay very low to drift limb gonna be able to double shadow ball this registeel it's not gonna be enough to ko it though okay maybe switch into lantern right away and try to hit the ground running with a farm whoa gonna stay in with drift limb okay lantern's gonna be able to farm this down anyways let's hope it's not grass in the back is it a zoomerill it's gotta be a zoom reel. Oh, this is amazing. Wow, so Lantern's gonna be able to take this. Thank you so much, Kimley, for submitting this footage. Man, legit battles, and I dig this team a lot. You came back from a lot of bad leads, really impressive gameplay there. Even going down a shield to maintain switch advantage is very crucial. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.